Hey there, good looking. If you're looking to train your core as well as get your heart rate up with absolutely no equipment needed, then you've hopped on the right workout. And if you're part of the 21 day fit and fierce challenge, welcome to day six. All right, lace up your runners and let's get warmed up. Hello there and welcome. My name is PJ Wren and I am a certified personal trainer with Fitness with PJ and Over 50 Fitness. And it is so awesome to have you here. Now let's get warmed up. As we warm up, we will chat about the workout, all right? Awesome, sink down onto the mat, right knee just a little outside of the hip, left leg extended, full foot on the ground, toe pointed straight ahead, hands in front and let's rock forward and back onto that back heel, stretching into the inner thigh of this leg and working into the hip and knee and ankle on the other leg. So we have two different moves that will alternate, a higher intensity move followed by a core move. And I'll show you different variations too. So if you are just starting out in your fitness journey or if you have osteoporosis and can't do a crunch, you will see options for you in the top right hand side of your screen. Last one. Good job, now sit right back here, take that left hand behind the head, bring the elbow in between the other knee and elbow, and then rotate up. We want to rotate through that mid-back area. And if you're part of the 21 day challenge, yes, we are almost done one week. Last one, whoo, it's gone by quick, hasn't it? <laughs> Maybe you're like, no, it hasn't, PJ. <laughs> it will, don't worry. <laughs> 21 days will be over before you know it. Three more. Okay, let's sit back here, hand behind the ear and rotate, we got six. Follow the elbow with your gaze. Once again, trying to get that rotation from mid back up above. One more. Beautiful, take yourself into a high plank. You can be on your knees to modify. Feet apart if you're with me, shoulders away from the ears, everybody, and opposite hand to shoulder without moving the rest of your body. Breathe, warming up core and upper body. Good job. If you're on the knees, make sure the tush is down so you're still holding a plank. Here we go, last four, three, one more each shoulder, and come on up. Beautiful, feet apart, squat it down, lift it up off the heels, arms go down. Now you want your feet about shoulder width apart or a bit wider if you find you have tight hips. We want the knees tracking with the toes and you're gonna sit your tush back like you're sitting in a chair, but a chair that you're not gonna sit in for the next 25 minutes. <laughs> All right. Two more, last one. Feet together, step it out to the side, reach it across if you can, tap the toe with the opposite hand, push your seat rearward, but keep your knee, your toes, knees, hips, shoulders squared to me. All right, perfect. Lateral lunge here, now getting that outer hip. Now let's pick up the tempo a little bit, see if we can add a little step there in the middle to get the heart rate up, okay? Now we're getting the hand down there by bending the knee. Spine is remaining neutral. Good job. You have four more. Three, two, one. Hand, just jog it out. You can go as high impact as you want, but add those arms. Perfect. We're gonna get busy in less than 20 seconds. Shake it out here if you need a sip of water. Now is your time. <laughs> All right, we have a jump squat or no jump squat and then an RDL. Okay, and then the other side RDL. You ready? 45 seconds, so jump it. Now plant it. Good, find that balance and stability. Let me go to my side. And then you'll see up in the screen there, mini me, I'm lifting off my heels instead of jumping. Land soft. Really try to stick it. So if you're finding a hard time with your balance, pull your belly button in towards your spine, 
focus your stare on something stationary. We have a lot of core here, <laughs> balance, while we also get the heart rate up. One more. Whew. Time. All right, we're gonna take it down onto the ground. Left hand behind left pinky. I want you to give me two switches, so it's like this power. One, two, and then go to the third one and rotate, look up. All right, here we go. Let's do it, everybody together. Left hand beside left pinky. Now you can also step it back and not jump it. Here we go, go three, two, hold it here, rotate. Good, three, two, one. Now if you don't wanna rotate, pick the hand up and just stay squared, all right? So if you can't rotate, you gotta know your choices. Perfect, so three, Either powering them up like I am, or three going wide. Now how's another way you can modify this? By popping your hands up. So on a step, BOSU ball, or maybe even a chair. Back to plank, time, woo! Come to one side of the mat. We're gonna take our knees, make them soft. Lift up, jump it to the side, and then high knees back home. You can also sidestep it like I'm doing up there. All right, here we go. Go one, land it soft. Two, everybody high knees back, okay? So one, two, high knees back. Move those arms, good. Whoop, two, I like this one. If you can, add a little tiny bit of a jump. It's a great way to build bone and whew, get the heart rate up at the same time. We're taking it down our mat for a banana pose or a dead bug, up to you. Time, all right. So I'm gonna hold a crunch pattern. So if that doesn't work for you, you'll do a dead bug. Whew. Now we have eight knees in and then we bring both knees in. So let's get in our banana, good. Now bring in the left, back out, right. Okay, so we've got eight of these, there's two, three, four, five, six, woo -hoo, seven, eight, both knees in, hold, pause for a second. <laughs> Extend out, do it again, here we go, one, Two, so banana pose means that we're hovering the ground, the legs, shoulders, head off the mat, working in those deep core. Whew. And it's challenging. Both knees in, hold, and up. Woohoo! All right, how'd you do on that? Well, good news is you got two more rounds to really perfect it. <laughs> Trainer humor. All right, we've got two switches. So it goes one, two, and then on the third one, you jump down into a lunge or a high knee. Ready? One, two, three. One, two, three. So if lunges aren't your thing, aren't your jam, you'll do the high knee. But I want everybody to do the switches. So add a little bounce, come on. One, two. So essentially you wanna make sure that you're dropping down into the opposite leg each time or opposite knees coming up each time. So it's not the same leg always dropping down in your lunge or the same leg always doing the knee up. One more. Yes, Woo. march it out. All right, we are in a bear pose. Knees under hips, wrists under shoulders. We're stepping the legs in and out. Beginners, you drop down onto the knees after every fourth one, give yourself a break. Set up, wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. Good, now step out, out, in, in. Now step out with the other leg. So we're gonna alternate our lead leg. We're not going to a straight leg. We're just stepping out a bit. Yes, knees are a couple inches off your ground. Don't go too high. Drop down anytime you want, okay? And then join us real quick. This is our last move. We take it to the top in 15 seconds. Come on, you. 
You feel those quads? Aha, uh -huh. we also have core. One more. Back to bear, release. Woo, baby. All right, we have the jump squat to RDL or squat heel lift to RDL. I'm gonna go to your side, my side. Here we go, three, two, one, go. Now it's the opposite hand that's gonna come down. Good. Get yourself set up for success too, don't rush it. Don't worry, your heart rate's not gonna come down. I promise. <laughs> Woo. Do you remember those tips I gave you last round? Nail your balance. All right. Find something stationary. Keep your eyes there. Draw the belly button in towards your spine. Activate that deep core. Breathe. Last 12 seconds. Come on. Whoop, just lost it. Ooh. One more time, Woo. All right, power mountain climber to rotation or regular mountain climber. It's three of them. You can have your hands elevated too to modify the move further. If you're with me, foot beside the hand. Here we go, push it. Two, one, rotate. Good, if you don't wanna do the rotate, just lift your inside hand up off the ground and hold it, good. Again, I'm gonna give you as many options as I can, but there comes a time where you also have to take responsibility to what you need to do, whether you have osteoporosis, arthritis, spinal stenosis, <laughs> high blood pressure, <sighs> a shitty low back, <laughs> and then work with what's gonna work for you. Those that stick with me the longest do figure out what does work for them, and they're able to Find an alternate and know the alternate quite quickly. Whew. So stick with me. <laughs> All right, two side jumps and then we high knee back or side step. Whew. Give yourself some room laterally. Three, two, one, let's go. Hup. Other side. Good, now high knees. Good. My high knees were very little. <laughs> I'm getting tired. <laughs> Do, do your best. I am. Now when we land, if you're doing the impact, it's soft, right? Knees are soft. You shouldn't hear much noise. You want to be stealth ninja-like. Last time, come on, hup, time, Woo. All right, this is our banana pose. We got the arms up, the body looking like a banana, or dead bug, your choice. Banana people, eight single knees in, and then double. Three, two, one, go. Eight, seven, six, Both knees in, Woo, give it a bit of a break. Ah, and we go back out. Both knees in, Woo, I gotta drop my head. It hurts my neck. It's because my brain is so big. <laughs> it's a lot of weight for that little neck of mine. Yeah. <laughs> two, come on up. You too? I know. It's amazing. It's amazing how massive our brains are. All right, we got two switches. Deep lunge on the third one or drive that knee up. Whatever works for your knees. Let's go. One, two. When we take that deep lunge, advance people, get it down there. Yeah. Oh my goodness me. Oops, I want four. My goodness, I can't count. Well, we knew that. That's nothing new. 
<laughs> oh, my thighs are burning. We're almost there, you guys. Five seconds. Come on, clock. Come on. Time. I ain't doing that last lunge. <laughs> Timer went. All right, bear step in. Drop the knee, shake out the wrist if it gets too hard, but then join us real quick, okay? All right, wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. Hoover the knees, woo baby. Step it out, in, now other leg steps out. Breathe, are you breathing? I hope so. Blues your color, but not on your face. Should have told me that back in the 90s when I wore blue eyeshadow. <laughs> Remember we had blue tinted mascara, blue eyeliner. Oh yeah. Early 90s, late 80s. That's why I love Stranger Things. All of the 80s, that's how I dress. That's the music I listen to. It's so awesome. Woo, dime. Oh, all right. Last round, okay? I am so excited for us. Jump squat to RDL or squat heel lift. Your workout, your choice, just don't leave me. Three, two, one, go. Now stick it and RDL. Good, don't rush this one. I'm really setting up for that RDL so I can be stable. Yes, you could hold on to something by all means, but I want you to see if you can do this. Even if you're just lifting that back leg up a couple inches. Now it's your opposite hand coming down to the foot too. If that's too much to remember, don't worry about it. <laughs> we got bigger fish to fry right now. Like staying upright. One more jump. Up. Yes. All right, power mountain climber to rotation or regular mountain climber. Remember, pop those hands up if you need to. You know, a step, a bosu, your chair. Man, there are a million options right around you. Let's go. It's for three, two, right here. Lift the hand up or add the rotation. Did I tell you guys about the woman who commented she was angry because I said I didn't like tofu? Yeah, well, she's back. <laughs> Maybe she's doing this workout. <laughs> I'm really sorry, I don't like tofu. <laughs> it sucks. You gotta marinate it and bake it. That's the only time it's good. <sighs> you gotta crisp that baby up or bread it and fry it. <laughs> time. So. Those are my taste buds. All right, we got two side jumps to high knees. We get all sorts of cool comments. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> Ready and go. I also get accused for things that I don't even say. They just thought I said something. <laughs> Whew. One thing I'm going to say to you right now, move your ass. We are almost there. You can quote me on that one. I'm done. I'm not jumping again. All right, banana pose, yeah? Okay, I don't know, maybe your banana's like kind of wilted right now, overripe. I know mine's starting to look a little overripe, but it's our last set. We have eight. Or dead bug. Oh, it's always the dead bug. When you got to eight, bring your knees in, give yourself a little breather, and then go back to eight again. Woo. Remember, rest the head because we got big brains and it hurts the neck. All right, here we go. Ooh. 
Woo. All right, we are so close, so close. Time, oh my goodness. I'm really proud of you. Okay, this is a hard, hard little workout. You know, it looked real innocent round one. So we have two switches to a lunge, or maybe the knee drive if the knees are bugging you, okay? Let's try it, it goes three, two, knee up, or lunge. Now, you do what feels best for you with your arms. I like swinging mine. I know some people are more successful when they just rest on their hips. So, you know, find what's gonna help you with the coordination of this. Last 10 seconds at home, woo! One more, go! Oh, yes! Do that to your quad, say yes! All right, they hung in there for us. All right, bear step-ins, final round, knees under hips, wrists under shoulders, hover, and step it. Alternate lead leg going out each time. Drop it when you need to. Quick breath. Maybe shake out the wrists if those are bugging you. And then get back on the horse. On the bear. Get back on the bear. This is it. Come on. 20 seconds. Woo, baby. We got everything fired up. This is so awesome. Time! Holy moly. Yeah. Come on up, you. All right, now. <laughs> Do not leave me right yet, okay? Because I don't know about you, but my heart rate's going like a hummingbird right now. So we need to get your heart rate down. Stretch out the legs and the abs a bit, and then you can continue on with your day. Whew. If you need a sip of water, please go for it. Just let's keep those feet moving, okay? Good. It's really hot where I live right now while filming this. We do have AC, we just got it. I only turn it on at night. <laughs> One of my clients, he thinks I'm bonkers. I agreed, but I don't know, I like air. And I live in Canada, so I totally understand if you're in Texas down south, you need AC on 24 seven. But here, you know, we whine it's hot, but it's really not. So I just, I love the air. I like hearing the birds, I do. But at night, uh, I already got enough hot flashes in bed, I don't need to be hot due to the weather, so I got that AC cranked. <laughs> Woo! But yeah, I'm on the west coast of Canada. East coast gets a lot warmer. But they're also a bunch of pansies. <laughs> if you're from Toronto, my apologies. <laughs> Feet apart, let's inhale. Gosh, I'm cheeky today. Inhale. Ah, exhale. If you're new to me, this is how I roll. Inhale. Exhale. Ah, let's do two more, okay? So let's sit and inhale through the nose. Just a slight knee bend, but let's guide those arms up. Let's exhale as they come down. Nice. One more time. Slowing down that breathing. Slowing down that heart rate. Beautiful. Now, we're going to get into the hip flexor the obliques, abs, in addition to your quadriceps. So you need a wall or also side of a couch, something sturdy to put your foot up on. Double up your mat if you're like me and on a hard surface, you need a little bit more cushion. I want the right side of your body, that's my left, the right side of your body lined up with your wall. All right, now you're taking that inside leg, so that's your right leg, pivot on the knee, and take the laces up on your wall, couch, door frame. The closer your knee is to a said wall or whatever you're using, the more intense the stretch. Bring this foot in front. You want the knee lined up with the ankle. And then I want you to lean back, say hello to quad. You'll feel that immediately. 
But let's get also get into, as I said, the oblique, whew, hip flexor, and deep core muscles. So inhale the arms straight up. So you're not gonna be mirroring me, right? You're on your right side, I'm on my right side. And then lean. Uh -huh. Beautiful stretch. For those of you part of the 21 Day Fit and Fierce, I hope you enjoyed the stretch session yesterday. Remembering on this program, every fifth day is your active recovery day. So we'll do stretches and mobility drills. I'll encourage you to go for walks afterwards, but it's to give your body a break because this is a, this is a tough 21 day challenge. And we need to do it with success, without injury, and to keep you mentally stimulated throughout. If you keep breaking down the body every single day, you're not gonna wanna do it. You will be mentally burnt out as well as physically burnt out. Whew. And release. All right, now left side of the body. This is, I find, the easiest way to get into this stretch. If you have a better way that you prefer, you go for it. And now I take that knee and I pivot and I take the foot up on the wall, foot in front. Good, and you may find one side more flexible than the other. That is quite common. Now we wanna tuck the tailbone under, squeeze this left glute, inhale, left arm straight up and lean away. This is a great stretch if you're plagued with knee issues. Sometimes it's due to tight quadricep tendon. All right, so we're getting really deep quad stretch. As I said though, if you have sensitivity in the knees, you will want to double up your mat or even better if you have a pillow, throw that under the knee. Do you like that sound effect? Yeah. Fitness with PJ, you get it all. Sound effects, really brainy, smart trainer. <laughs> <laughs> and stimulating conversation <laughs> and release down <laughs> take your mat away from the wall have a seat on it for me please and thank you getting into the hamstrings let's do it lying down I find it's the best way for all of us to keep our backs neutral because the ground will keep us there both knees bent extend the left leg straight up guide the back of the knee towards the wall behind you there Ooh, if you've got a slight bend in the knee, hey, that's totally cool. You do what's going to get you the best stretch to that left hamstring. If you find that you can get this leg at 90 degrees, feel free to straighten your other leg. So a couple of ways you can keep working with me if you already are not working with me, which I don't know why you wouldn't want to work with me. <laughs> First off is you can join us over on Over 50 Fitness. You get all the YouTube workouts ads free workout calendars, community, and uh, what well, we got 12 other instructors for you as well. Um, or you can come support the channel if you want to stay on YouTube and support the channel and join the community over on Patreon and receive a workout calendar there as well as instant access to most of my challenges that I run, like this one. All right, other side. All the info's down below. At the very least, when we're done this workout, I would love for you to drop a comment below and a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. For those of you on Over 50 Fitness, you can favorite these and create your own favorite playlist, remember. It's always handy to have. I know a lot of people that will comment under the workouts just to um, let them know next time they do the workout how they felt while they did this workout. We hear that a lot. Oh my goodness, I read my comment a year ago and I could barely do round one and now I did all three. You know, it's those sort of things that you may forget you're getting fit and then you read the comment perhaps you wrote five months ago and realize, yeah, I'm getting fit or I am fit. All right, that's enough of me. <laughs> Have yourself a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you so much for joining me. I am truly grateful to have you here. Have, we'll see you next workout actually. Bye. Why, hello there and welcome. I'm PJ Ren, certified personal trainer and I have been helping women over the age of 40 get fit and fierce for almost three decades now. So I'm so happy to help you. Did that sound super corny? That might have, that might have sounded a little too enthusiastic. Yeah.
Hello there and welcome. I'm PJ Ren, a certified personal trainer with uh, Fitness with PJ and over fitness. <laughs> yeah. Hello there and welcome. I'm PJ Ren, a certified personal trainer, and I have been helping men and women over the age of 40 get fit and fierce for almost three decades now. So I am so happy to meet you. We're so happy that you're continuing on with me. I'm just so happy. Cool, nailed that. 